Hi y'all, in this video, we're gonna create a new family and it's gonna be a parametric gusset plate. So what we need to do is go into our new family templates. And I wanna scroll right down here to structural stiffener. There we go. I want to open this up. <clears throat> now, once I open this up, I want to save this as the parametric cussing plate. So let's go file, save as family. I'll put it on my desktop. Look in the uh, options bar, we only want one. Okay, and I'll call this, um, I want to put this on my desktop. And I want to call this Parametric Gusper's Plate. save it now I think our first move here is uh, we want to change our project unit so let's go to UN and we want to go to length and we want to change this to fractional inches we'll say okay and okay once again so now we don't have to worry about feet and now let's go open our left elevation This view right here. Now let's go in and create some reference planes. Let's go create one. Let's see here. This is about eight inches over. <clears throat> we'll create another one right through here make this 45 degrees by the way and I'll move him down to the origin don't really necessarily have to be right on the origin but you know, just for so we got another one and we'll create another reference plane right just here another eight inches Okay, 45 degrees, place it right about there. And then we need a, another reference plane just below our center or our reference level. And that's going to be eight inches as well. We can just select this. Let's say eight. Okay, did we get it? No. That's it. Eight. Okay. So now that we have all our reference planes in place. Let's go in and add some aligned dimensions. Okay, so we have our line dimensions in place. And now we want to uh, add, a, add a parameter for these guys. And then we'll make them all. Let's go create a parameter. And let's say width here. And this will be okay we'll leave it at tight let's make this one we'll just add this width to this one 
and we'll just add this parameter to this one as well. So now we have our parameters <coughs> in place. And now I think it's a you can save this if you like. But uh it doesn't matter, but it's a good time to save it. So now what we want to do, we want to switch to the front elevation for this guy. So let's go to our front elevation. <clears throat> and here we have we want to go and create more reference planes here. Let's just go a quarter inch. Yep. Well, we can go one inch because we're going to flex this guy to the correct size we want. So we'll go with another reference plane here. <coughs> just take it all the way down there. Cancel. Now we want to set a line dimensions. There to there to there. Let's set equality. And we'll do an overall dimension. And we'll give that a reference. We'll give this a label. And we'll call this our thickness. And we'll say OK. But we want this thickness to be in half an inch. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go here and I'm going to flex this to the one half inch. Okay, there you go. So now I want to switch back to my left elevation. And I want to go here and I want to create an extrusion. So I want to create extrusion. And I want to set the depth to a half an inch. And then I want to use the pick line tool. Uh, let me call you back in about five minutes, okay? Sorry, folks, I just got a call there. I want to finish this video. <laughs> Sorry. So we'll use the pick line command. Pick that one. That one. This one, this one, and these across here. So now let's put this thing together. Looks kind of crazy now, but I think we can fix this up. Um, <clears throat> let's just undo this for a second. There it is. I see it now. So here we go. We can just go here and go. That one and that one. Let's see that and that. Uh, keep that one and that one. Always remember you tick the lines that you want to keep. So there's our gusset plate. And then we'll click the finish edit mode. And there we're finished. So now let's switch to our 3D view. And there's our gusset plate now. Okay. So now we can go into our type properties, um, type family types dialog box. And as we can see here, we have our two types. We have our width and our thickness at a half inch. And um, we can flex this thing to make sure everything's working. So I'll just say, um, just for the heck of it, uh, I'll flex it. I don't really worry about flexing it. I'm pretty sure it's going to work. These are going to be tight parameters anyway. So now what we want to do is we want to go at the bottom of this guy here. We want to click new parameter. And we want to call this one material. So this is our material parameter here. And we want to group this under type parameter as material as well. 
and this will be an instance family. And um, from that point, we just say okay. So that allow us to that allow us the ability to change the family types. So now we want to say okay here, and then we want to go into our three D view. We want to click this guy. And we want to select this associate family parameter and take on material. Now we select material, what it will do is it'll allow us to pick materials right from the properties uh, dialog box. Okay, so that's good. Now Next thing we want to do also, we want to select this extrusion. And then we want to go into our visibility settings. And I think we want to set this guy at medium and fine. So of course we'll leave it, leave it blank. And then we'll say OK. Now, we can test this out here in our preview visibility and we'll turn it on and add the course this is nothing there the medium and the fine you'll see it so that's working okay we we'll turn that off okay now let's go into our family types dialog box and let's add some new types here. Let's uh, make an eight inch. Okay, we, this, this will be eight inch. We'll add another type. We'll go with 10 inch. We'll change the width to 10. We'll add another type. And this will be 12. So now, if you go back to our types, oh, we want to change this to 12. Didn't change it. Okay, let's click and comply. Okay. So now, let's have a look. That's 12, 10, and 8. So now let's <clears throat> open up a project and look at at this see how it goes you know, let's go with a project let's make it structural let's go okay very simple little family gusset plate and, and set it in for stippeners and whatnot and we'll go to a window tile here, ZA, and then we'll load this into our project. It's one of 3D view here. There it is. Okay, now let's place another one. And then we can go into our types, our family types, and change these to, there's our 10. And this could be our 12. Okay, folks, so that's it. Simple little Gus and Play family. Uh, hope you got enjoyed this. Uh, I'll have more videos. Uh, hope you subscribe and have questions or comments, place them in the comment section. And if you have any requests of uh, families or any really things you want to learn, put it in the comment section. We'll go for it. Have a good one and bye.